all the injuries that you had, did you get enough done? Did you hope that you hope to get done this spring? Well, the, the tenants are strong. And not only have the, the injury has been a big problem, the weather. We never get outside once. Uh, it was fluky. One or two days it looked like it was going to break and it was going to be nice. And decided to take one of the 15 days you had and turn around and get up in the morning and rain like it was. So we didn't, we didn't get that. But the kids had a good squad. They worked hard. <coughs> Joe, how did you come out of the spring with your offensive line? Uh, you had said before practice started there were some concerns about that. How's the offensive well, line? Well, I off? think we made progress. Uh, we've got a ways to go, but uh, you know, it's always. Uh, you're never sure whether the defense is good and the offensive line is bad or the offensive line is just bad and the defense is bad too. No, I, I think we uh, made a lot of progress. We're not home free. There's a lot of the little things that we have not gotten into. There's a lot of blitzes and a lot of stunts and different looks, uh, defensive looks that we've not gotten involved and we've been more concerned about individual techniques, trying to get the, and then uh, when we had time, trying to get some guys to work with each other so that there's a, they get a feel for each other. But I, I think, uh, I think we, uh, we have a chance to be okay. We're not there yet. Joe, can you evaluate the progress of the quarterbacks and has someone stood out to take over the, the, the well, I, I, I've really been pleased with the, with the quarterbacks. Not only the two kids that everybody knows and who played most of the football, no, who played probably all of the you know, offensive football for this team last year. Would be, uh, 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 that both those kids have really good springs, I thought. And then we have some other kids that have been out there, kids like McGregor and Jones and so we, we, I think that the quarterback situation is a good one. I, uh, we, can get, we can get some of the wideouts healthy. That Kersey won't play today. Moy won't play today. Kuntz has been out. So we've got some guys that aren't, haven't been involved in it, except in, when we, not had, we didn't have any contact. We let them throw the ball, catch the ball, and so on. But other than that, I think we can help you. We've got to get another tight end, tight end to kind of to tie in all the, all the things together. But as far as uh, quarterbacks, I think we're in good shape. Are you going to hold off on naming a starter until the fall? Is that the plan? The quarterback? A quarterback name? I don't know. There's no need to have to. I don't know. There's no sense doing it. I think both those kids are. Uh, is it, it probably, I would say it's 99% sure that it's going to be one of the two kids. Uh, but I think we ought to let them, you know, as I said, we didn't get outside much. We didn't, uh, we didn't do a lot of different things because we want to get the, some of the uh, younger offensive linemen. We didn't want to get them confused and just want to work on their, on their technique and things like that. Uh, so I, uh, uh, but I, I'm very comfortable with the quarterback situation. Now, which one starts? Uh, I, I, you know, we'll sit down and as a staff next week. Kids, the staff can't go out with the crew until the week after by NCAA rules. And so next week we'll spend some time looking at some tapes together. And we'll discuss the different positions and see where we can. Status quo, what we need to Hey, Joe, do you, uh, do you get a sense for when you'll know if Bolton's going to be staying and what your thought is on if Rob's going to be sticking around? I really haven't given that any thought. I, I would obviously hope that that's behind him. He's, he's really 
We're not going out with you, believe me. 